What's up guys? Welcome back to Flicks and Chatter. My name is Didi, and today you already know we're back with another movie reaction. And today the movie in question is called Savior. I know it came out in 1998 and the main character is Dennis Quaid and that's about all I know. So my fate is yet again into you guys' hands. So without further ado, let's get into the movie. Et un colis pour moindre tes yeux afin que tu vois. Moi, je reprends et je chante. Is he uh, with the army or something? Christian, how are you, son? Where are we going today? The movies. The movies. See, we'll make it just like I promised. You promised him a lot of things. Uh, he must be a workaholic or something. Don't get mad now, but I gotta borrow your father for a couple of hours. Oh, I, dude. You know, it's a bomb threat. Some Muslim fundamentalist group. Again? I'm really sorry. Something's come up. I can't take you to the movies today. We'll go tomorrow. No, you can't do that. You promised him. It's an emergency. I have to go. Girl, you gotta know what you signed up for when you married him. Maybe. No. Oh, wow. Somebody help! Dang. Wife and son. Get them, Josh. Track them down. Bullshit. Just walk down the street to the nearest mosque. Look, Josh, I know this is a bad time for you. Let us investigate. Where are you going? For a walk. Uh oh. He a man on a mission. Dude! Oh my god. We he a stone cold killer now. They both joined the foreign legion. <laughs> We're not reenlisting. Six years in the Legion, that's enough. This war sucks, man. I'm getting out of here. What are you gonna do? Sell used fucking cars until somebody finds out who you are. So I figured they went here to kind of run away from the crime that they committed. I mean, if anything, the other guy was in self-defense. They probably wouldn't see it that way. There's nothing wrong here. You just walking out here on a battlefield? Hey, you gonna, is he gonna shoot the child? in your moral compass, bro. Oh, wow. Point. I saw you, but I, I like the young boy. Oh, my. Bro. She's just an old Muslim bitch. Let her bleed to death. Oh my god. They still humans. I mean. And I don't know why he looking all, oh, why would you do that? When you shooting kids. So it's like, now you want to be remorseful, bro? That boy should have left that uh, goat alone. Fuck the captain's orders. We're not going to start shooting kids. He already baby killers, are we? Did she got a gun or something behind her back? Yeah. Figured. Take her home. Did you see the green? Because she's been fucking old then. She was raped. Raped? And our family. My neighbors. Good serves. Great warriors. Wow. She dishonored them. Some Boston is coming on. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. This guy's nut. <laughs> is it okay? Oh, wow. Thank goodness. She don't want it. Or it's pretty damn dark, man. Is she gonna kill herself? I need you to hold this baby. I don't know if I would trust her to hold it. Can you hold the baby? She like, that's yours? Oh, it's so small. Oh. 
Wow, come on, man. If I was dude, I'd be like, well, it's time for me to go. What, does he not want the baby there? Take oh, wow. Baby. He's kicking them both out. They can't stay here. Wow. She don't even want it. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take you to the refugee camp in Belechen. Somebody there will take you in. If you don't want that kid, somebody will take it too. Oh, it's so small and helpless. Beat the little bitch myself. You don't got a curse at what the heck is this movie, bro? The nipple's not in there. A condo <laughs> Okay. I can only imagine the trauma though. The trauma the mom's going. Damn, he even slept with the baby? I you bet you she can speak English, bro. Because uh Dennis Quaid killed the uh his nephew, whatever the guy's name. Shoot, at the least she could do is feed it. She ain't doing nothing. I don't suppose you changed oh, it, it would you? Girl, I swear, you better not throw that baby out. I, I would've need a GPS to find out where the hell I'm going. I'm just What's saying. Wrong, oh, you're a billy goat. I need a billiana. Go back. He's he's wanted. Oh, he got her family. Well, ain't shit that for you now. Maybe I can try yeah. it. There is nothing we can do for them. We should just go. Oh, she made up her mind. Come on, hurry up. Ain't no more gas. Oh, Why is it always something? God. Franci, what do you want? That bird look nice and fresh. I'm sorry about your family. It's over. Vera. It's time to go. There is a town across the lake. Maybe get a bus to split. They have buses, even with a war. Sometimes. <laughs> Stay here. I will look for a bus and come back. Leave the baby with me. She'll slow you down. Probably that that end makes sure she come back. <laughs> oh Shave. Oh my gosh. Oh hell no. Nah. I ain't finna line up so you can beat he beat me to death. Fuck that. No, oh wow. Need... Oh, what the heck, bro? No, nah, need... 
they got the damn bird too. What, you didn't expect that? Come on, bro. You didn't have to sit down to pick up the damn cat. Okay, take your hand off the child's face. Oh, thank God. Three hundred Deutsche Mark. Have your money. Where's the Red Cross? I don't know. You just cried. Somebody will come for you. Your daughter? <laughs> yes. There is no reason to give up baby. You were on the bus. Yes. You are hurt, so I will take you and your baby to hospital, okay? Okay. He was like, all right. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was Savior. First thing I gotta say is, if I have one word to describe this movie, it's brutal. From the very beginning, it was messed up. Like, I, I feel so sorry for the guy when his family died like that. Like, I really, man, I couldn't even imagine how I would feel if something like that was to happen to my husband and my child, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel him on that. But to go to the synagogue and just shoot up the place, half the people in there didn't probably weren't even in on it and you just shot it up. So now you and your best friend have to flee the country together. Y'all join this military militia whatever i was a little confused about that so i guess his buddy did die from the grenade because i think i might have missed it but from what i understand you know they didn't really touch he didn't really touch on it you know i just know his friend wanted to get out and then next thing you know the little girl was carrying the the grenade and then she threw it and then it it exploded like he didn't even grieve for them he didn't even because Next thing I know, it cut to him with that other guy uh, driving with him or something. And that guy, the guy that he shot, the other soldier that he shot, the one that beat up Vera when she was having a baby, like that guy was nuts. He was psycho, for real. Like something was really wrong with that guy. I mean, I understand prejudice and I understand, you know, wanting to hurt someone but the thing about it is like that one person isn't the cause for everything you know what i'm saying you know because she was sexually assaulted while she was captured you want to beat her and, and, and hurt the baby to me i'm sorry but babies are innocent you know what i'm saying like if she didn't want the child she could have got rid of it you know gave it to somebody else is what i mean she could have gave it to somebody else but for her own family to like disown her and then spit on her like damn but i commend the mom because at the end of the day you know she decided to keep going and to to take care of her baby and it's unfortunate that uh she ended up dying but i think her her thing was she just wanted her baby to get out and dennis quaid's character really did take care of that child and remember he was still hurt <laughs> i i just he just realized that he's he's been hurt since he got shot by the by her father this whole entire time and shit i'll be tagged too i'll be like look i'll be at the real cost look take the baby i'm out i can't do it you know but it was it was it, sometimes you just need that one person to keep you to to get you to keep going and i think that lady on the bus you know when she got the baby 
she gave him kind of like that hope because now you're this child's father. I'm just glad that him and the little girl got out of there and got to a safe haven. My favorite part would have to be the interactions between um, him and the mom. They kind of had like this hate, then it was understanding towards the end. And then the fact that they both ended up loving that sh this child, you know what I mean? So I thought so. That was kind of my favorite part. I I enjoyed the movie, but at the same time, I didn't like what was going on in the movie. But it was a very decent movie. So, but let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this movie and what's your thoughts on it. I would really love to hear from you guys. But um, that's it for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed this movie reaction. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.